Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So Cancers, I am here to do your daily reading, my darlings. This reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what does resonate, toss out the rest, right? Don't try to force it. And thank you so much, Cancers. I love you guys. Thank you for all of your support. I love you all so much. Oh my gosh. Um, and happy Sunday, right? Thank you so much for everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. Do you guys remember this deck from years ago? Okay. I just found it when I was cleaning up the altar and going through all of my cards. Um, and I figured I'd bring it out again. I don't even remember the name of it. What is the name of this card? Well, this deck. I don't remember the name of this deck, honestly, guys. Um, but I, I used to love it and I just found it again, Cancer. So um, let's see what's going on. I'm thinking we're going to check out what's going on with your person behind the scenes here. Um, the lover's card. Okay. I feel like you're a huge temptation for this person and I feel like um, I'm kind of getting the feeling like you're being presented here, like shown to this person. They're watching you from afar, Cancer, okay? Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini, right? But I feel like... Um, I feel like the divine is showing them this, they're showing you to this person. So maybe you're like in the public eye because I really kind of see you show, you know, showing yourself, okay? Um, I'm feeling like this person is about to approach you, Cancer, for real. I do. I feel like they're about to approach you. Um, and I feel like there's a, you know, honestly, I wouldn't normally say this about the Four of Cups, but I feel like there's a home situation with a group of women that stand around and talk about this because they know this masculine is watching you. I feel like part of the reason they're watching you and, and so amazed by you is because of the gossip. And there's one person in particular it could be an older person. It could be this person's mother and two siblings or um, somebody who's just feeling very drained and aging from from this journey. I feel like this is a karmic individual here that's doing nothing but talking to these people. And I, you know what? I'm getting the feeling that they're sad. I feel like I feel like something's over here for this karmic. I gotta say, King of Wands. This person wants to go after something else, and I feel like um, I feel like you've been trying to manifest this person into, or they are praying for you. Perhaps they have a lot of other options around them. You know, the King of Wands. They usually do. I gotta say. You could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, um, but this person is, you know, they're kind of well known for like being extremely attract attractive, a smooth talker. They know how to get what they want. You know, this is somebody who's used to getting what they want because they're very good at it, okay? Um, they go after it, right? So this person, I feel like they have a lot of options around them, but honestly, um, you're, I feel like you're the one that they're praying for. You're the one that they really want. And the divine is showing them. It's almost like they're, they probably are seeing um, a lot of repeating numbers. You know, 111, 222, 333, 444. Um, they could even be seeing like your birthday. I'm just seeing all these numbers, right? Um, I feel like they're getting signs from the divine. You know, they're actually like pointing you out to this person somehow. They could be walking down a street and pass a couple of people um, and they they hear this person hears them mention your name or or they could see something on a billboard that reminds them of you or in a movie scene. I get that all the time. Um, music is is probably hard for this person to listen to. Um, but you you really are the one that they want. And I feel like the divine is just pointing it out to this person left and right. For real, it's over here and it's over here. <laughs> so they're getting signs all over the place here. 
Page of Cups, yeah, go and apologize. Go and apologize to Cancer. Look at how sad this, they're on their knees here, staring into this cup. Like, is this the one, right? They're, they're, they're feeling like, um, honestly, I feel like something's about to happen here, Cancer, to be honest with you. Tower moments, you know, this ship is being led right into um, the shore here. I feel like they were led to you once before, to be honest. And it just crashed. Yeah, I feel like they're on their knees here. They're looking into this cup wondering, will you even take them back, right? Page of Pentacles in reverse, because they never came forward. If you look at this page, too, look. The page usually doesn't look like this, okay? This person was very guarded. I feel like they've been afraid to come towards you for a really long time. But now, and I feel like they were, you know, they did something risky. They did um, something impulsive. They did something that was very immature. They came flying into your life, heated everything up, right? And then left again. And I feel like they just never came forward to make it right. And now they're literally being directed right back to you. A lot of page energy here. You know, this person has been very immature. Um, immature with their holding back their communication out of fear. Um, immature in their emotions and their actions. I feel like they're in a lot of regret here. I really do. And I feel like there was a group of individuals up here, a group of feminine energies that actually did whatever they could maybe to uh, make this person miss an opportunity. Because there's that cup that they're staring into, that fourth cup there. That's the blessing in love. I feel like there's a group of very bitter feminine energies talking about this, or maybe this could be their family telling them, you know, with the way they're sitting here and looking down into this, like very doubtful. I feel like they're telling this per they may have told this person, oh, you can't do this or something. Six of Wands, but this person really wants to have a victory with you. They know that's the only way to have a victory with you is to come in with that pentacle, right? The one that they, see, they've got to get their strength. They've got to get their confidence a little bit um, and open up their heart, okay? Because they're very, very guarded here. So, yeah, I feel like this has been too long. It's, it's just taken them too long to come forward. And they know that that's the only, the, the only way they're going to have a victory in this is to come in and talk to you. Yeah, they want to give back to the situation here. I feel like um, I, they feel very defeated in this. They feel very defeated. Like if they come towards you, which is what they're being directed, they're being shown you in both directions, right? If they come towards you, are they going to crash and burn, right? Are they going to get their heart hurt? That kind of thing. Oh, man. It's almost like this is self-talk, you know? Um, negative self-talk like they they tell themselves ah, this isn't gonna happen I'm gonna crash and burn I'm gonna get hurt I'm gonna this I'm gonna that um, the, it's like a inner turmoil battle but man they just keep being directed and you look and everywhere you look the divine is like this one this one this one <laughs> right they're being shown you that it's you they need to come to, okay? That's all I have to say there. They're, they keep being just redirected. No, 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 no. Get up from this. Look in this direction right here. 
Okay, they really want this too. This is a blessing in love. This is going to lead to your to the nine of cups here. That's you know wish fulfillment. This is what this person is wishing for. I feel like they dream about this with you, Cancer. I really do. You know, you see them kind of passed out here on the ground in ten of swords. They they start talking negatively. You know about this and oh I can't I'm gonna get hurt I'm gonna be betrayed blah 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 they fall asleep and they dream about you nine of cups okay I feel like this person may have also been betrayed you know if you look at this there's um them being stabbed in the gut by a feminine energy and some other guy I feel like, you know, they could have been in a third-party situation here. Um, it's this up here. I feel like maybe they were betrayed. Something possibly someone has said. Two people, maybe they fed their head full of uh, lies about you. That's really the feeling that I'm getting. I'm, I'm feeling the gossip up here, and I'm feeling these two kind of separate though it's almost like the either the karmic cheated on this person and they feel very betrayed and they need to heal or um these are two people who said some things about you and this person i feel like they believed what people said okay they believed what people said and that cost them their wish fulfillment and that's why they're feeling betrayed defeated Okay, they believed in the lies and the gossip. Yeah, and now they're really burdened over their Queen of Cups. That's your energy, Cancer. Queen of Cups energy, that's all they could think about. They kind of sat there still feeling the passion for you, but with whatever was said about you. I'm just picking up on gossip, guys, okay? Okay. What I feel like somebody said something about you, Cancer, that they couldn't stop thinking about. That put them in this stagnancy, right? Until all the emotion was gone. Until there was just a carcass here laying on the ground, all right? That's really what this is. They just sat on this for a really long time while their passion was still burning, but they weren't making any moves towards you. Now it's it's almost like they feel really betrayed because um, because they they never came towards you to talk about it, whatever was said. That's really what I'm picking up on here, guys. But that's just um, the feeling that I'm getting. Okay, I'm really feeling that. See, I feel like they got some kind of information from somebody. And this isn't how I would normally read the Three of Wands. I, yeah, they sat on this with their, you know, Three of Wands is not taking any action. So I know they didn't take any action. I, I got that with the Ten of Wands, okay? And they're still feeling the heavy burdens on him, but they're still, their passion is like burning for you. But here, I'm just feeling like they listen to the wrong person. Like, they've got one shoe on. Where's their other shoe? It's like they got everything jumbled up in their head. And they just sat on it and sat on it until this cycle came to an end. And just, you know, constantly thinking about their Queen of Cups, right? But not making any movement towards you. Because they couldn't get what, what was told to them or the gossip out of their head. I hope this is making sense. Because I'm distinctly picking up on gossip. Not that I'm seeing a lot of it in the cards, okay? But I picked it up off of this right away. And I'm picking it up off of that as well. And all of the things that they were told, I feel that they're thinking about here, about you. 
but they keep getting directed towards you, you know, the sun, towards the sun. I feel like now the truth has come out. They see everything clearly. That just seemed like it was, it's only one card. I, it felt really thick to me, sorry. But yeah, now they see everything clearly. You could be dealing with the Leo, uh, Leo Aries Sagittarius, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, um, Pisces. Heavy on the Sagittarius too in Leo. All right, what else can you show me here? Clarify the sun. Everything is now, um, they're being enlightened here, okay? Two of Swords, yeah, that there were two people, two people, this person here, same person, right? And somebody else. The things that they said kept this person away from you. That's, and normally I wouldn't read the Two of Swords that way, but this is what I'm seeing. The things, and look at the way they're covering up their ears. Like, I don't want to hear anymore. Do you see? I don't want to hear anymore. Two people, at least, a feminine energy and maybe even a masculine, said some things about you, and they couldn't get it off of their mind. That's what kept them sitting here for so long. They listened to others, and it pretty much killed this, this connection. Judgment. I feel like now everything is coming out into the open, okay? I really do. I feel like um, they're realizing that what they heard, what these people said possibly weren't, that it wasn't true, but they definitely were blocking this person from coming towards you. And I feel like they were working together as a team. This feminine energy and this masculine energy, look at the way they're looking at each other. I'm telling you, I feel like people worked together against this connection. And look, it could have ended up, see, this is what they're realizing. Clarify the sun. It's been clarified with the Ten of Pentacles. They're realizing that with you, they actually could have built something solid. With you, they could have had a long-term commitment. They would have been happy. They would have been building generational wealth. They could have had all the comforts in life. Um, you know, for real, this is a beautiful card. Um, yeah, I feel like these people block this person from, from their happiness. And honestly, guys, I, I'm reading the cards differently than I would normal, normally read these, but this was my confirmation for that right there. I was right. That's why it's so important, okay, for you to trust your intuition, okay? Trust the messages that you're getting from the divine. Look at this. Nine of Swords. Now this person is all kinds of stressed out. They're like, why? How could this have happened, right? They're all kinds of stressed out. And we've got three ogres or whatever this is over here just laughing, okay? Three people. They're they're being they're really being shown. Um, yeah, look, they're be what as soon as I said that, they're being shown. Look at the divine is still pointing again. They could see a lot of the number five right now, which means change. It's time to choose a new path. It's time for a change in their life. Um but yeah, I'm seeing this as, you know, um, look, at, look at what all of the lies, lies, that's what this is. The Five of Swords is all about lying, deceiving. Look, you were deceived. The things that they said to you were lies. This person is realizing it. They're being shown that. A lot of these people are, these masculines are, um, are having nightmares about this stuff, but the, the messages are coming through in dreams, right? They're being literally shown that the things that people said were lies about you. And this is why you trust your intuition. Higher font. See? See? 
God, shedding the light on everything. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I trust my intuition on these cards, man. If I pick up a feeling, I'm going to tell you guys, okay? But I'm right. I'm right about this. <laughs> I am. Justice. Yeah. I feel like this is more like clarity, okay? The divine is showing this person um, all the lies, all right? Now they'll be able to get their justice because they're getting clarity. They're really being put through it, though, while they get this clarity. I'm telling you, it doesn't feel good for your person right now. They're really going through it, Cancer, okay? Um, they're having nightmares, a lot of nightmares. Uh, they're seeing all the betrayal by people who are close to them, okay? Um, the betrayal that was put onto you because of the lies. They're seeing where this connection could have gone, okay? Something beautiful. It, it was supposed to... It was supposed to come together. Otherwise, you, I wouldn't have all the divine here is just pointing them towards you the whole time and showing them the truth. Yeah, I feel like it's this person's time for justice. That's really what I'm feeling like here, too. Two of Wands. And there's that higher font. Look, here's the higher font. Once again, leading them. Okay, because here they are. They put them in this arena with two wands and they say, go ahead and choose your path now. It's your turn to get justice for being lied to and betrayed right out of the uh, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, I hope you guys are following this. Choose a path, says the higher font. Do you see? And see the contract in their hand. I feel like this could be a twin flame soulmate connection. You could be a divine feminine. This could be a divine masculine. High priestess energy. Look, yes. And seven of swords. Yeah, this, this connection. And I feel like you're the high priestess, but I also feel like there were secrets, you know, people working together. And your person's being shown all of this. They are. They're right here. They're being shown it. See? Do you see how these were lies? Do you understand who lied to you, what they said, the things that they said were all lies? They're pointing right at them. Okay? And I feel like that betrayal was all about you and your connection here. Okay? And I feel like, look, just as this person finds out, and figures out the truth and is shown the truth. Look at what you do with the flowers. You just let everything fall to the wayside. Like you know the truth. You've always known the truth, Cancer. I feel like you're so intuitively lit. You've been, the divine has done the same thing for you on this path, have they not? Sat you down in a relaxed state and shown you the truth. Haven't they? You may not have even told anybody about that, but it's true. They've shown you the things that people have done behind your back. They're showing your person, too. That's why I feel like this is um, a twin flame soulmate connection. It's not this card that does it for me. It's the feeling of the cards that are doing it for me, okay? Yeah, and just as this person now is finally being shown the truth because they didn't figure it out, right? There was a lot of nasty things done in the dark here. And I feel like um, just as they find out, you're dropping it. You're letting, the, you're letting the flowers fall, whether they love you or not, right? Yeah, you're, you're letting the flowers fall. I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, this is the Divine saying it's time. It's time to figure out your place on the wheel, pal. I feel like they're showing them everything here, to be honest. But this is um, this marks the end of a cycle here, Cancer. Look at Knight of, Knight of Cups coming in on the bottom of the deck. 
This person needs to decide a path, choose a path. It's time for them to get your their justice. Three of Pentacles. Clarify the Three of Pentacles. This is wanting to work on things. They're realizing you were, in fact, their Ten of Pentacles. They're everything. Yeah, Two of Cups. I feel like this person's coming, and I feel like they're being brought in. This is Cancer. Yeah, this is like the Divine once again showing up, saying, He's coming, he's coming, your person's coming. He, she, sorry. It's not gender specific. I'm just looking at the cards. I feel like um, this is something that you've been like bound to because of this connection, Cancer, because of how you feel, because you've gotten no clarity, okay? And I feel like you're about to now. Um, yeah, because your magician is coming. Your magician is coming, Cancer. Um, yeah, with the world card too, you've got this duality, masculine and feminine energy, right? Um, I feel like this is the end of a cycle. You've passed your test. Um, you've learned your lessons. You're moving forward. And just as you move forward and start dropping this, I'm, I think this person comes in try, wanting to do everything that they can to try to fix this. Okay? That's really what I'm seeing here. They're going to want to try to do everything that they can to try to fix it. But it may be too late. Right? The last petal may have already fallen. Yeah. Anyway, Cancer, um, they are coming towards you, though. Okay? So I feel like you're going to have to make a decision when it comes to this person, but they're coming forward to make you this offer of love, give you a whopping apology, and tell you they want to work on this with you. So, yeah, Cancer, that's what I've got, guys. Um, I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates, Cancer. Um, if you guys like this video, please click the like button. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, thank you to all of my subscribers. Go ahead and subscribe if you like this vibe and it resonates with you, right? Join this awesome soul tribe, right? And until next time, Cancers. Oh, yeah, I am going to take this into the extended. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. I am going to take this into the extended because I want to see what happens next when this person comes. Maybe we can get um, what they want to say, okay, and see how this conversation is going to go, okay? So if you're interested in that, there's a link to follow at the bottom of my description box. that will take you straight to Patreon. And until next time, Cancers, know that I love you, take care of you, and peace out.